All right, so I'm going to make a brief video sort of giving the overview of our 1913 Hammond Multiplex typewriter. Now, right off the bat, you'll notice that while it is a beautiful case, there are some slight little scratches and bumps here and there. Uh, but with its age, that is to be expected. Now, the clasps on these sides here and over there, those are both original. And I'll lift this off. Now, everything on this uh, ham, everything on this typewriter is going to be completely original parts, with the exception of the ribbon. Uh, everything else, however, is completely original. I've it's I've spent a long time sort of restoring this. Uh, there's no sticky keys. No, there'll be no issues with that. Now, overall, it works very nicely. I'll uh, feed a piece of paper in and show you. So you'll take the piece of paper, you'll just set it up against this back uh, back part, and roll it in. We're just going to go about halfway, and as you can see, just pressing Random assortment of keys. As you push it, it feeds up. You can just kind of keep typing. Uh, it does, this is pretty unique in the way that it has, it features a turret rather than in some sort of uh, contraption to move the things up. I'll take off the cover in a minute and you'll be able to see how it works. But it does in fact raise up and down to give the different letter varieties. And of course you've got your backspace over here. And there we go. Alright, so just before we move on, I want to mention that this, in fact, does come out. The tower actually rises straight out of there, and it has two different typing faces. One on the back, and the one that you'll have forward. Now, these are both two different fonts, and I'll make sure to include two pictures up close so you can see the difference between the fonts. But there you go. Once you have the font selected that you'd like, you just very carefully set it back in and it'll slide straight in. There we go. All right, so here's our Hammond Multiplex without its cover. And I just wanted to showcase this just because of how beautifully kept everything is, how oiled it all uh, is. Shouldn't have any problems. The rust has all been cleaned off, uh, especially between each key. Uh, when I first got this, it had a large amount of rust and a large amount of dust and stuff that was all built up. Not a lot of these keys actually worked when I first got it, but after, uh, you know, a month of restoration, uh, the entire thing works very well. I'm very happy with it. And that is our, uh, that's it for our little, uh, Hammond overview. Thanks.